it's Mike Meltzel. I'm the author of Belly Fat Effect. If you own a smartphone or a tablet e-reader, you want to pay attention because a new study showed that using those devices at night may affect your sleep quality, your ability to fall asleep, and your biological rhythms, and may cause you to feel more groggy and less awake and alert when you wake up. So let me read to you the title of the study. It's titled, Evening Use of Light Emitting E-Readers Negatively Affects Sleep, Circadian Timing, and Next Morning Alertness. This is a study right here. I'm going to post it on the notes. So what's really unique, and first of all, I want to thank my friend Bettina Newman for sending me this study last night because this is really fascinating stuff. If you've read my book, Belly Fat Effect, chapter eight is all about circadian rhythms, biological rhythms, and how those affect our metabolism, our ability to burn fat, store fat, our ability for our GI tract to process nutrients, and much more. Even oncologists treating cancer are dosing different medications around our circadian rhythm so as to minimize their metabolism and detoxification. So circadian rhythms are so, so important. And we just caught up with Alan Christensen and talked all about adrenal health and getting natural light in the morning. What turns out, that e-readers and smartphones, so that's an iPad, an iPhone, a Nook, a Kindle Fire, any of these light emitting e-readers negatively affects our circadian rhythms. So let me tell you the details of this study. 12 uh, subjects were recruited to a Boston Medical Research Center for five nights. And during the four hours before they went to bed on each of these five consecutive nights, the research team had two branches of the study. They put one group and told them, hey, Sit down, read your favorite book under a dim light. This is a good old fashioned book, right? There says no light emitting e-reader or iPad or iPhone, okay? And then they had the other subjects, so there's 12 subjects in, in total, six in each arm of the study. They had the other six subjects read either a Nook, a Kindle, an iPhone, an iPad, and so on. Anything with a light emitting e-reader. And what they did was they tracked melatonin levels before the study and after the study. They also looked at markers of circadian rhythm. They looked at things like REM sleep, the rapid eye movement sleep that's suggestive of really good high quality sleep. They also tracked morning alertness, fatigue, and you know ability to get out of bed and jump out of bed. And what they found was that individuals, even though they were exposed to light reading their good old fashioned book, that light was not this short wavelength light that is similar to what we get in you know from the sun that stimulates our circadian clock system and causes our body to think that it's morning even though it's in the evening. So their circadian clock system, reading the good old fashioned book, that arm of the study was not affected in contrast, the individuals that were reading the e-readers, the light emitting e-readers, had significant suppressions in melatonin production, significant alterations in their biological rhythms and circadian clock, and they also had a decreased ability to fall asleep, they had imbalances in REM sleep, and they were more fatigued first thing in the morning. So what's the take home message here? There's going to be some nights where you're going to be traveling, maybe on a train or a bus or an airplane, and you're going to be reading and so forth. And this is invariable in 21st century. Let's just face it. You know, we're not all out in the wilderness and turning out the lights at 8 p.m. and, you know, doing our meditation and yoga, right? So what you can do is take supplemental melatonin. Okay, the first things first is to minimize, you know, exposure to light in the evening as much as you can. But if you are exposed to it, like I said, when you're traveling or doing work on a deadline, something on your computer or your iPhone, uh, you want to take supplemental melatonin. Studies have shown that when you take melatonin, you can fall asleep faster, you feel less groggy in the morning, you get more REM sleep, and you can keep your biological rhythms on track. So that's, you know, tip number one. Tip number two is avoid these devices as much as possible. Possible. Tip number three, get out and get some natural light first thing in the morning. Now, if this is new to you, check out the podcast we did with Alan Christensen. If you go to highintensityhealth.com slash adrenal reset, you'll learn more about that. Alan Christensen is the author of the best-selling book, Adrenal Reset Diet. And we did a podcast and talked all about natural light, how that can affect your biological rhythms, improve adrenal function, and much more. So hope you enjoyed this video. I do have a webinar replay if you want to learn more about biological rhythms, circadian clock function, and much more. You can go to belly fat effect.com, type in your email address, and you'll get a series of videos of which we dive into more detail about your biological rhythms and circadian clock system. Hope you enjoy and have a great day.